Hello students, so here we are with the question second of the exercise 3.7 for the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. So the question second is, one says, give me a hundred friend, I shall then become twice as rich as you. In this problem, the conversation has been given between the two people. And what does the conversation goes about? That one says, Give me a hundred friend, I shall then become twice as rich as you. The other replies, if you give me ten, I shall be six times as rich as you. So this is a reply being given by the other person to the first person, which was saying previously. So what it says, if you give me ten, I shall be six times as rich as you. Tell me what is the amount of their capital from the Vijayagatina of Baskara second. Okay. And the hint has been provided is x plus 100 is equal to 2 into y minus 100 and x plus 10 is equal to 6 into y minus 10. So these are the two equations which can be formed from the problem being given. And how these equations are formed, we will be focusing on that. So uh, the first step is let amount of one person initially just keep in mind we are talking initial amount b rupees x per capita and the amount of other person initially be rupees y per capital. Okay. And according to the first statement, that is according to the conversation, what the first person says, give me a hundred friend, I shall then become twice as rich as you. Means we will be adding hundred to the initial amount of that person. And if the other person has given 100 to the first person then means now the amount which other person will be having is y minus 100 which is perfectly true okay and also it's been given that i shall become means the first person will become twice as rich as you means by holding the amount of x plus 100 he will be twice as rich as the other person means he will be having the amount which is twice to that of the other person. Now solving this, I'll be getting the equation x minus or x plus 100 plus 2y minus 200 or it will be x minus 2y plus 300 is equals to 0. So this is the first equation which is being obtained from the conversation between the two persons. Also, the other person replied to the first person is, if you give me 10, I shall be 6 times as rich as you. Means, now 10 has been given by the first person to the another. So, the amount which will be the uh, first person having will be x minus 10. And now the other person amount will become y plus 10. Right. And also, it's been given that the amount which the other person will hold will be 6 times the amount of the first person. Means y plus 10 will be 6 into x minus 10. Now solving this, I'll be getting y plus 10 is equal to 6x minus 60. Or it will be 6x minus y minus 70 is equal to 0. Let this be the second linear equation. As I have obtained two linear equations and in order to get the value for the variable x and y respectively, I need to solve these two linear equations. There are three methods, the algebraic method to be uh, consistently say to solve the linear equation. So I will be using here the elimination method and as we know the elimination method says we need to ensure that the corresponding or we can say the numerical coefficient of any of the variable being involved in the two linear equations should be the uh, same value. And if I have been focusing 
over the variable say x. Then I need to multiply both the sides with 6 in order to make the coefficient of the x to be same on both the sides. So, the first equation will be 6x minus 12y. Let me mark this with some another color so that it will be more clear to you. So, the first equation now will become 6x minus 12y plus 1800 is equal to 0. And the second equation is 6x minus y minus 70 is equal to 0. Now, subtracting the second equation, that is altering the sign of the second and adding it to the first, I'll be getting minus 11y plus 1870 is equal to 0 or minus 11y is equal to minus 1870. From here, the value of the y comes out to be 1870 divided by 11 which is equals to 170. Now substitute this value of y in any of the equation either first or second. Let me substitute this in first equation. So here it will be x minus 2 into 170 plus 300 is equals to 0 or x is equals to 40. Okay, means the initial amount which the person or we can say the first person was having uh, was rupees 40 per capita and the amount which the other person holds initially was rupees 170 per capita. So this was the solution for question second of exercise 3.7. I hope this question is clear to all of you.